speak. Huge. Congratulations. You seem very emotional tonight, more, <coughs> more than normal. Is that because this is where it all started? Yeah, it's, you know, obviously I don't want to lose first round. No, no one does. Uh, it's probably, the, in my eyes, one of the toughest uh, draws I could have got. So I knew that I was in for a really, really tough game. You know, Stephen came out of the block so well that if he would have won that game 6-0, I'd have, kind, I'd have felt kind of unlucky not to win at least a leg. You know, but uh, when I won that first, like I kind of took the initiative and, and didn't look back to be honest. And you know, I was I could look at it very, very fortunate. If he takes a double out, he could have won that six nil. I think he did. I think it was won it. Yeah. So he could have won six nil, and I could not want to lay. End up winning the game. That's how crazy this format is. And you know, it's not nice playing best of best of three. I'm just happy now as we go into the next round. It's best of five. And if you make too many mistakes, you'll be out. But you you can you can escape a couple of mistakes. You can't do it in the first round. We know this tournament catapulted your whole entire career this time last year. What was it like coming back here for the first time? Yeah, I mean, I've been back here many times because of the Pro Tours, so it doesn't like... The person that drove me, Ethan, he said, like, oh, I bet this feels special driving up here. It was like, not really, because I've been here about five times since then. So, yeah, it's uh, it didn't feel any different, to be honest. But I know when I drive up Charlie Pally, that will feel different because, you know, I haven't been there a whole year and it will have good, good memories. So... Yeah, it didn't feel any different for me to be honest. But uh, you know, the first round's always a lottery to be honest. Anybody can win. Anybody can beat anybody. So once you once you make the first round, then the second round's a lot more. It sort of favours the better player. People always used to say about Phil and Michael, if you don't get them early, you don't get them at all. Has the field just missed an opportunity I to, to so. get Luke Humphries? I hope that's the I hope that's the truth. I got sitting here on Sunday night and telling you that was that was true. But uh, you know, anybody can still get me. I'm I'm not unbeatable and. You know, I was five near win legs down there, so anybody knows that if you play well against me, you can beat me. There's, there's this facade of if, if, you know, no one can beat me or me or Luke or, or Michael, but they can. If you play well enough, you can beat anybody. And, uh, you know, Stephen played well enough for the first five legs, just unfortunately that double didn't go in for him. Uh, and then I come roaring back, and I think that shows a, a true fighter. And I've been in this position so many times, last year against Peter Wright. Uh, last year against Garrison in the Grand Slam, you know, Mark Van Gogh in the Players' Championships, Joe Cullen, Ricardo in the Worlds. I, I just don't give up. I never, as much as it may look like I've given, I never give up. I will never give in until that last duck's gone in, and I've just proved it again that you know I'm a fighter, and I'll never give in till it till it's over. Luke, thank you. Luke, we saw a nice embrace between you and Stephen at the end. Uh, what did what did Stephen say to you? Oh, he, he, um, I don't know if I want to tell you. To be honest, it wasn't. You know, he just. I don't know if I want to tell you. You, okay, I'll do it. But he just said it, I bottled it. That's what he said. But I don't think he did. To be honest, I think he missed one good dart and it didn't go in for him. And then when you're chasing the game, you know it's hard. I don't believe he bottled it. He said that, but I don't think he did. I just think it's one <coughs> unlucky dart. He, he probably he looked like he threw it well. If it didn't, if it goes in, then he's two 0 winner. So yeah, it was kind of hard with the crowd like behind you and they're just chanting football chants all the time. Like let's leave football at home. We're at darts now. That kind of fire you up a bit. Though. It did a little bit in the end. I was kind of like in a negative attitude where I thought, you know what, I'm just not going to retaliate to it all because I just can't be bothered. You know, we're here to play darts. This is, you know, I support Leeds United, everyone knows that, but let's leave the football chance at home. We're, we're, we're dart players, we're not footballers, you know. So if I'm in a football field and Leeds are playing against whoever and they're chanting it to me, then I'll accept it and love it and I'll embrace it. And I still try to embrace it, but. You know, it's just constant. Like we're at darts. That's not. But if it carries on, then then so be it. It won't affect me. You know, it, it didn't affect me to win that game. But uh, the crowd were good regardless of that. Um, it was nice to be back. And coming into this, obviously, you won the players' championship last week. Did that almost come at the perfect time coming into this stage of the season? Now it probably did. To be honest, I think you know I've not been playing the best darts the last two months. My throwers. Dare I say it, not been in the greatest shape. It's it doesn't feel as fluent as it has been in, in many moments that throughout my career. But uh, I always find a way to, to turn it around. It's been like that the last two years, where one minute is great, the next it's not great. And I think that's why I'm an up and down player. Some people see me in a, in a two three months period, but I'm winning everything. Then for two months I can't win a thing, and everyone's like, oh, he's off form. But then all of a sudden it will come back again, and I'll start winning things. So, you know, it's just something I think I have to just accept. You know, I texted my girlfriend earlier and said. She said, how's practice going? I said, not really that great, to be honest. You know, it hasn't been going great the last couple of months, but when Rob Cross come and practice me, I've got a lot to thank for him because when he comes and practices with me, it, everything changes. I, I, I feel the drive, and he really does help me out. So, uh, yeah, when he come and practice, it, it changed. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Um, Luke, how do you think the re reaction and the reception from the crowd has changed to yourself over the last five months or so? Well, it's... Not bad anymore. It's just more football chance, to be honest. But like I just said, you know, there's 
I love I love the banter and I love you know lead to falling apart again. It, it's great, but you know that that we're at darts now. You know this isn't a football arena. This is a darts arena, and you know I enjoyed the chance of let's go Bunnymen Menor because I I kind of am a fan of Stephen as a, as a friend, so I like them. But yeah, the football ones, you know that if it carries on, it is what it is. But you know for me, it's just you know we're not here for football. We're here for darts and. Uh, you know, chant your favourite and, and don't chant your not favourite. But yeah, it was it was it's it's all it's all in jest and it's all a bit of fun. But you know, well, Leeds won't fall apart again tonight, unfortunately for them. In terms of the evolution of your game, it's obviously been an incredible twelve months or so. But how different does it feel coming back as a champion, and how different do you feel in terms of your position in the world of darts? I mean, honestly, I, I don't feel any difference that way. I don't I don't think of myself as the the champ. You know. It, a good way to put it a lot of people saying to me you know you're the you know you're defending the title but I'm not defending anything you know I, I can't defend last year's title that's been that's gone I can only retain it uh, so I'm not defending anything in my eyes that's the way I look at it. you know I can't I can never defend last year's title that's gone it's in the past now it's into the future I can only retain um, so yeah the, the, only, the only thing that can change me is I take the trophy and I had for the last year that's it uh, so yeah, I'm not really defending anything. I'm just trying to to retain the trophy that I did have, and you know, for me, I would love to do one of the four that I did win. You know, the Grand Prix, the Grand Slam, the Players, or the Worlds. I'd love to retain one of them. I'd love to be at the Worlds, but just one of them would be nice, just to prove that you've you've gone back to back. Cheers. Thank you, Luke. Twelve months ago, before you started this major <coughs> win streak, do you think that's the game you win? Um. Who knows? To be honest, I think it, it, being being a major champion makes you stronger and mentally. Um, you know, I cut all my emotions off there, and in halfway through the game, you know, I was getting a bit disappointed. But I thought, you know what? Sometimes you just have to accept that the better player may win this one. And uh, if I walked off there, I'd have been gutted. But you know, I'd have accepted it. He was the much much better player the first two sets. Let's be honest. And you know, I missed a couple of darts in the first leg. I think I missed three. I missed. One in the second or something like that. I could have been, you know, could have won that set. But sometimes you just have to accept that the better player may win, and you almost did. But I came roaring back, didn't give up, and uh, you know that's what true champions are made of. And how many times have we been in this position where I've sat here and said, "I'm a fortunate boy," and then I go on to win. So you know, I don't say I'm going to win, but we'll see. But they, these sort of moments do uh, put your name on the title just a little bit extra. And in the short format, when you see your opponent averaging over 106, I think it was. How do you try and keep focus, stay positive? Do you try and think surely he's going to drop off, or how do you? Well, you continue? don't. You don't think surely. You just hope they drop off. To be honest, I think if he carried that that level on, he would have won, and rightly so. You know, you can't do nothing against them sort of games in a, in a non-double start in. But for me, I thought the first two sets I doubled in pretty well. Um, you know, the last set it wasn't as good, but Stephen was even worse. So, you know, I got my fortunateness, but. If you stick in there and allow yourself to, to be in the game, you'll allow something like that to happen, like Stephen to miss, and he did. And I come roaring back, like I said, and you know the rest is history. Who knows what can happen now? And I look forward to you know the next game. Huge well done, Luke. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers.